Hello everybody, this is Sunday the 25th of February and I'm at a signpost which illustrates that there's a miniature railway, toilets, paddling pools, Whippendale Woods, Swift Hearts Golf Course and last but not least the canal and river gauge in various different directions. I am uh, Peter the Rock and I uh, do lots of videos of sort of local walks and features and places of interest, points of interest. Um, I know I've had quite a few new subscribers. You're probably a bit uh, wary of seeing my stuff, but uh, it's a bit quirky. The whole, the whole idea, the themes are the videos are short and quirky and hopefully will illustrate something a little bit different. This is a rustic bridge and old mill. Now there's a, it's a kind of a see-through picture, I hope you can see it, uh, of how it used to be, which is quite sort of interesting. I haven't seen that anywhere else except in this park. I'm in Keseoberry Park, Watford, um, which is a very pleasant park, especially on a Sunday. If you look back, you see lots of people taking the air, almost in a Victorian way, <laughs> if there is such a thing. This is the River Gade, running quite fast here, and you can see in front of me, it's running from right to left, that's from north to south, and over in the distance around the bend, it's running from left to right, that's from northwest to southeast. So I try to tell everybody the date and the time and the place. So if ever you want to go for a walk and see the things that I find interesting, you'll have a clue as to where they are. Anyway, I'm, I'm Peter, Peter the Rock. Uh, as with a lot of people on the internet, uh, the Rock is not my real surname. I've uh, adapted it because, adopted it rather, because the um, Greek and Latin, a very long time ago, a couple of thousand years maybe, um, uh, used the word petrus meaning rock. And uh, uh, in fact, it's actually quoted in the Bible as, as that. But I'm not, uh, certainly not going to uh, talk about any biblical matters. I just like to explore nature and see things of interest sights and sounds quite often. Speaking of sounds, uh, there is a weir ahead of us. I've never been down this path before, so let's have a quick look at this. Uh, the, the, the video content of this, uh, I do quite a lot of HS2 explorations, how it's going on, don't get turned off by that. That's interleaved with all sorts of other things like rivers, canals, walks here in the Chilterns. Uh, maybe even I'll look at a church or two from the outside because they're all shut. Um, and sometimes you see something that's really quite unusual. Wooden sculptures, I don't, I don't know. Now this is a weir, it's a straight weir. I've done a few weirs, a lot of them have um, indents in them to expand the, uh, the line where the water goes over to make it go over less per foot of line. You can follow that. Uh, but that's just a straight wear on the River Gade. Now, the, the, I don't know much about the River Gade. I don't even know if there was a chap called Fred Gade who uh, decided to call it the River Gade. There's a, a river in Uxbridge called the Frey's River, which is a totally artificial river. And uh, my theory is there's a chap called Fred Frey's who decided to call it the Frey's River. But that's all in previous um, videos. Uh, the start of, I'm at the start of this walk now, and I'm at the Grand Union Canal. As you can see, it's a canal big clue being that we're above a lock. So there we are, 
a little bit about me, a little bit about what I do. I very much appreciate any new subscribers. Don't give up on me. Um, so I don't sing. <laughs> uh, I just explore things and you can turn off whatever you like. But if you don't, if you want to see more, uh, like and subscribe. Cheers.